In this tutorial, we're going to see how to use Metamask to transfer funds from one network, in this case POA network, to the Ethereum network. We're going to be converting our POA coins over to POA20 ERC20 tokens that, again, reside on the Ethereum network. This video is inspired by other tutorial videos uh, created by developer Roman Store. Please check them out. The information is in the show notes. Um, uh, information in, shall we? Let's hit show more. This will tell us what, what we're working with. So we're on the uh, core POA network. Uh, we see that we have a remaining uh, daily POA quota. Uh, I think we'll be fine. <laughs> Uh, the maximum amount per transaction, once again, I, I suspect will be fine. This is where we have to be a little bit careful. The, the, the minimum transaction uh, amount is 300 POA tokens. If it's less, it just won't go through. And, and that which is locked into contracts presently is uh, given here. Now, this is probably the most important bit, just so that we're above that. And we are. We're at uh, 1,009 POA coins. Now, let's take a look. Where are those coins? So let's close that. So let's take a look at MetaMask, shall we? First things first, let's double check, are we on the correct network? And we see that we are on the core network. That's why the, the DAP was able to see where we had the 1,009 POA uh, coins. And sure enough, we have the correct uh, account, or if you want to think of it as a wallet, selected. Now MetaMask refers to this as ETH, but again, it's POA. So we have 1,009 ETH, uh, I'm sorry, POA, not ETH. If we were to, let's say, change to the Ethereum network, we will see that we have indeed no uh, coins on this network. And in fact, the DAP uh, is reconfiguring itself. Now let's go back. Uh, oops, I, I picked the wrong one. Let's go back and pick core. And sure enough, we have on the core POA network our POA tokens on MetaMask. So this is just show, showing that we actually are using MetaMask to do this. Type in how much we'd like to convert. We'll just put the full amount. Um, actually, yeah, let's just try the full amount, see what we got. So we're seeing that it wants to convert 1,009 POA coins to 1,009 POA tokens. So we're going to be uh, confirming that we'd like to send this from the POA network to the Ethereum network. And we do. So we're going to hit continue. It's going to uh, ask that we create uh, a transaction. So MetaMask is creating that transaction. We have made a terrible mistake uh, because we can't pay for it. So I'm going to reject it. So we're going to hit OK and we're going to change that to 9. Now, again, I kind of knew that that would happen. I just wanted to say that, you know, if at any time you're, you make a mistake or you think, uh-oh, you can always reject the transaction. You don't have to um, submit it. If, if you're At any time you feel unsure, best to reject, regroup, rethink. Let's, let's do that one more time now. We'll hit continue, and again we see MedMask has created a transaction for us. So we now have, uh, we're moving 108 uh, POA coins. Uh, we also have here uh, the fee. The fee is designated, although it says ETH, it's in POA, since we're going from POA network to ERC20 over on the Ethereum net side. So we'll hit submit. And now we're waiting for it to confirm. There we go. And we are done. Success. Excellent. So we'll hit OK. Now we have it on the Ethereum. We network. indeed see that we have, uh, a one, once again, we are on the core POA network. So we see that we're, we're down to about one POA coin. If we go to the Ethereum network, we should see our ERC20 tokens, and we say, uh-oh, they're not here. Well, they're not here because we haven't actually added the tokens. We're going to have to add the tokens. Um, this is information that's been taken from a tutorial that our 
Ziggy has created. Again, uh, here's a link in the show notes below. Uh, but let's take a look how to do that. All right, so what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to add this token. Uh, again, we're on the Ethereum network. So we're, we're adding the, literally an ERC20 token to this. So we're going to add token. We're going to paste the contract address. Uh, this is actually automatically pre-populated, uh, uh, these two f uh, fields. But again, if you, if you want to know where this information is, it's in the show notes and in the tutorial that Ziggy created. So we'll add. This will start loading this uh, contract up, and voila, we have our 1008 POA20 tokens on the main Ethereum network. We can now do the uh, do as we please with these, uh, moving them however we like. Uh, and thus was the entire process all done within MetaMask. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll do more.